All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can use AI to help with your Linux desktop and different configurations. So I had recently switched over from Arch to Nix OS and I ran into a lot of different things that I did not know how to do or how to fix or configure. I relied on asking questions in my Discord and then started to use AI to help me over the hurdles, I realized it can do a lot more than I thought. Text editor tool. So this is similar to VS Code or a cursor, but Zed is a text editor by default, but has AI tools integrated and you can integrate your own AI tools as well. Essentially the tool is over here. You can open it with the key binding for the doc here. You can add this in VS Code or anything. Also VS Code has the GitHub AI that you can integrate that uses like, you know, Claude and Jack GPT as their options. Right now I'm using Claude code because I have a Claude membership. Since it was included in a subscription, I s decided to use Claude code as my default option. And the model that I'm using is actually Claude Sonnet for thinking. This has been the best one that I have used as of yet. I know ChatGP5 has some brain models as well that have been working really well for others, but I've been using the Claude one also because it's part of my subscription. I just want to have one and I have to pay for extras. This is the one I'm using here and the snippet I'm using to enable it in my actual editor. Now I'm able to open a new thread. Uh, they do have their own agents, Zed does, but it does actually use Claude as their, you know, main model that is in their, in their system. So you can either use that. I think you get 150 free prompts a month, but then you can pay for their paid plan to get up to 500 prompts per month. I'm using the Claude code one. You can also integrate Gemini and others. I can show you that if you go into settings, you can see they have a bunch of different LMM providers that you can use. Obviously, the Z one through your subscription. And then you have the GitHub Copilot that you can use. And then I have connected. And you also can connect it directly to Claude through an API key. And then they have Google AI and OpenAI, Llama. So they have a bunch of different ones. So you can use API keys to connect it to here. And then you can add a new prompt. And your agents will show up here. I'm using the Claude one right now. That's the main one that I've been using. So I was going to give you an idea of how this works. Let's say I want to create a new bind to open display settings. Display settings is actually NWG display. So basically I can come over here and say, can you add a new key bind? Left. Control D to open NWG displays. So I can ask it just like that, or I can actually add the binds file to the actual prompt over here. So it knows exactly what I'm referring to or where I want it to be added. And the more specific you are, the better results you're gonna get. It has gotten much better to understand what you want from it. So it's literally adding the option here. And I can click allow. So now you see it in my actual configuration here. I have mod shift control D to open NWG displays and I can either keep it or reject it. For this one, I'm gonna keep it and do a rebuild real quick to make sure that key binding has stuck. And this is just because I'm a NixOS, you wouldn't have to do this if you're on Arch or something and using the regular Hyperland configuration. All right, so now that that's done, if I do super shift control D, it opened NWG display. If I was unsure how to add that or where to go to do it, you could just ask it itself and then it can find the file that you want it to be added to and then add that for you. This can be very useful. So if you want specific window rules or something like that, that you're unsure how to configure or add, you can add that, different key binds, different just configurations within your Hyperland setup. And it even knows I added a Nix extension here so you can see Got to go to, to installed and six draft. Yeah, Nix here. Since I have that, it knows the language and the grammar built into it. So it can use that as a tool. And then you can also set rules for your AI. For this one, it sets it under the Claude MD file. And you can do this per directory. If you have different projects you're working on, you can set these here. So I have do's and don'ts in here and how to update my system with the DCLI tool that I created in here. And then 
just a bunch of different things about how the architecture of my system is created. What's funny is I actually used AI to create this <laughs> very thing. And I added some of my other options, like the do's and don'ts and stuff like that. And I think some stuff at the bottom as well that I added in there. I know that it's not going to do certain things or change things that I don't want it to change. You can add all that into its rules per se. And then you can do it. So yeah, I think there's just a really good and easy way to configure your system and do some more configuration to add some more workflows and stuff like that into your system without actually knowing all the ins and outs of how to do it. And you'll learn on the way because it shows you exactly what it did. It asked me if I wanted to approve it before I added it into my configuration. You can hit always allow if you want to, but I wouldn't. I would always look at what happened and make sure it is something that you do want to configure before it stays, you know, stuck into your in your system. And then you got to figure out another way <laughs> to unfix it or maybe ask the AI to either revert or fix your issues from there. So I think that the actual AI tools out there are growing and we can use them as tools to help us even with Linux, helping you configure things and get things set up into your system or troubleshoot an issue. Like if you're unable to install a package or want to upgrade your NVIDIA drivers and you don't know how, you can actually ask it to help you with that. And you can actually ask it to help you without changing anything. So that way it can tell you how to do it. So you can do it yourself as well. So if you don't want it to actually do it, you can do that too. This is just a quick video to show you some tips on you know, how to, to do this. You can, you can use this in like VS Code Editor. You can use this in Zed or Cursor. There's a bunch of different ones that you can add this to. As long as the editor that you're using has extensions and you should be able to do this fairly easily. You can also use a Claude code outside of an editor. If I open a terminal and I type Claude, it'll come up and it's saying that I'm in my home directory. Do I want to proceed? And then I can say yes, and then I can actually start asking it questions you know, directly from in here. So I actually could pick my directory that I wanted it to use or just use it from here. And I actually have this on a key binding as well, so I can open that you know, whenever I need it uh, to have. And I use this as kind of just like my question thing to, to ask questions. It doesn't have anything you know, connected to it or anything. It just runs from my home directory, and I'm not actually creating files or anything with it, but I, it's more of just be able to ask questions and get answers to things like descriptions for my YouTube channel and stuff like that. So, so yeah, th this is just a, a quick video to give you the idea on how to use AI that can help you with your Linux journey and enhance your Linux knowledge as well. So if you haven't been enjoying my content, please consider liking and subscribing or joining the membership. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.